Taylor Swift just took fans on a magical journey through the past decade with a unique mashup performance to celebrate 10 years of 1989. In New Orleans, Swift brought her nostalgic album to life with surprises, an emotional speech, and a set list that had fans on their feet. Let's dive into how she made this anniversary unforgettable. 1989 isn't just an album, it's an era that defined a generation, and Taylor Swift brought its spirit back to life during her New Orleans show at the Caesars Superdome. Celebrating both the 10th anniversary of 1989 and the one-year mark of 1989, Taylor's version, Swift created a once-in-a-lifetime experience for the nearly 65,000 fans who packed the house. With her electric guitar in hand and a radiant smile, Swift kicked off the set by explaining her creative process, revealing her dedication to making each performance unique. I always do something different, she shared, leaning into the thrill of reinvention that keeps both her and her audience engaged. In an unexpected mashup, she combined Afterglow from Lover with Dress from Reputation, blending past and present in a seamless and emotional performance that had the entire stadium lit in greens and purples, amplifying the vibe. In a perfect nod to her 1989 era, Swift donned a blue and purple sparkly dress that fans recognized from her Miami show, adding to the nostalgic air. After a charged moment with her guitar, she transitioned to the piano, and as she introduced 1989, the crowd's cheers filled the stadium. Swift laughed, pausing before saying, Today is just a great day because it is, um, allowing fans to shout along with her, 10 years of the 1989 album. With that, she launched into two fan favorites from 1989, That's How You Get the Girl and Clean. Swift played these new renditions with an intensity that bridged memories for her audience, blending the past with the present in a moment that felt both personal and communal. As the era's tour nears its final American dates, Swift's ability to connect with her fans has only grown stronger. With just a few U.S. stops left before she heads overseas, her concert in New Orleans showcased her dedication to creating lasting memories for fans. As she closed out her performance, the atmosphere in the Superdome was electric, a beautiful culmination of the years that shaped both Swift and her listeners. That's Taylor Swift, everyone, celebrating 10 incredible years of 1989 in true Taylor style, with unmatched energy and unforgettable fan moments. What's your favorite song from 1989? Let us know in the comments below! And if you love this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for all the latest Swifty news and exclusive celebrity content. Thanks for watching!